Um, it seems to me like the current coin market really belongs to the educated collector. Um, some of the smartest people I know are really aggressively buying right now and they're looking for major rarity and they're looking for high quality, things that can't be duplicated. I was talking to uh, Jimmy Hayes, who's you know a genius when it comes to high quality coins, and he was comparing the current market to 1946, which was sort of a magical year where a lot of really wonderful things came out. And you know, again, I've been saying to anyone who listen, in five years we're going to look back on 2015, 2016, and think, man, I should have bought twice what I bought because. You know, there are really, really wonderful world-class collector coins coming out right now that won't be back in the market for a long time. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of coins that cycle through the market once every couple of years, once every three years, but they're not world-class coins. Uh, the world-class coins, I think, have been coming out, and once they find a real home, they go away for a long time. And um, I think that right now our opportunities are pretty impressive. Uh, it's a really fun uh, time to be a coin dealer. So three or four years ago, I think uh, you could pretty much sell a widget in a holder and get a decent amount of money for it. It seems like the coin market has certainly changed in its uh, way that coin collectors are approaching their buying. But how does that impact sophisticated material? Well, I mean, I, I think the move has been towards sophisticated material. I think that um, people want coins that are legitimately rare, have an interesting story, and are high quality, um, not monkeyed with, not doctored, really, really choice coins. And I think that the market has really rapidly moved from a very commercial product-oriented market, uh, you know, the mid-2000s. I mean, I just remember in 2004, 2005, 2006, seeing the stuff that was in cases and being like, kind of not too terribly impressed. I mean, and going to auctions and seeing like, you know, process product decoin after process product decoin that was all about the holder. And, you know, since 2006, 2007, there's been this, this the last 10 years, it's been a big move toward quality and rarity. And, um, you know, I think that the internet is largely responsible for it. I think that if you're an intelligent person, um, there's a lot that you can do online to educate yourself. I mean, CoinFacts is an absolute godsend and, and something that people are using every day. Um, and in addition to that, there are a lot of people who have realized that you can actually go out and talk to intelligent, successful dealers and that there are people out there who are willing to share their knowledge. And, that, you know, I mean, I think that the, the smartest collectors today are using a combination of of, of digital media and online information and, you know, regular conversations with, you know, market makers to steer their collective. So the, the, the tired cliche, I think, in coins is uh, buy the book before you buy the coin. Obviously, that's been around for years, and if people actually did that, we wouldn't have so many mistakes being made. But what would your real piece of advice be for somebody who wants to start doing a sophisticated collection? Well, I mean, I really think that it's important to talk to top-tier collectors and top-tier dealers who understand the series that you're interested in. Um, I mean, I know that I'm very willing to spend time with people who really want to learn, who are, you know, serious about the stuff that I specialize in. I also know that, you know, I watch the people who have really built great collections and been successful, however you want to define that, with, with their collecting. And, you know, the guys who really want to study this stuff and want to, um, you know, spend some time learning with you know, knowledgeable dealers, and who are, understand that stretching a little bit to buy something nice are the guys who do best, and the guys who are looking for a bargain, and you know, approach everything as if they already know everything they need to know, and everything is printed on the label. 
and you know they can look it up what things brought at auction and that's the end of it you know those are the guys who end up with a lot of coins that are maybe a little overgraded and not really easy to sell when they come back to the market to to move their collection so basically if you're not passionate about learning about the material you're willing to buy you're going to get buried in this market. if you're not passionate why bother i mean you know if if you are going into a coin show to buy coins that you want to make money on and you don't care what the coin is you're missing the point this is a really interesting hobby that can enrich your life in your bank account if you do it right and time things right but i mean if you're just looking at coins as something to do with your money i mean buy stocks or you know whatever you want I, there's so much more to what it is that we're doing here um you know i mean it's it's certainly changed my life like you know discovering coins and discovering um that there was new information to be learned on a daily basis and that there were mysteries to be solved changed my life.